Welcome to another video from Guaylao 60. Everybody says on my videos, well not everybody, but a good number of you say, Guaylao, why do you always walk through some of the poorest areas of, uh, of Nanning? And uh, why don't you show the, the large, beautiful buildings? Well, I don't believe that that is the real China. I believe that this is the real China because I've been here for so long. But for all of you people that want, that want to see big buildings, here you go. Okay, now that that's over, we can get back to, to what this video is about because it's not about build, big buildings and it's not about little areas like this. It's about the Americans, the USA living a lie or the Western world living a lie. And what do you mean? What do you mean by that, living a lie? Well, they see that China has 40,000 kilometers of high-speed trains. They see the big cities, they see the high rises, they see the highways and the, you know, the, the super nice airports, they see all of these things. They see that China is growing in leaps and bounds. They see all that stuff. They, you, you know, the neighbor, when you get a new car, and he looks over the fence and says, you got a new car? Yeah, and then he's jealous of you? Well, it's the same thing when uh, the United States looks over the fence and says, hey, China, you've got 40,000 kilometers of high-speed trains? They see it. But they still ostracize China, and they say that something's bad about China. Well, I don't, I don't get it, guys. I, I really don't get where this hate comes from. Did China ever start a war that you know of? Think about it. Did China start a war? Seriously. Uh, and which one? Tell me. In Vietnam, they helped out the, the Vietnamese against the Americans. Yes, they did. They, they supplied them with arms and all of the other stuff. Uh, Korea? Sure, uh, they helped uh, the North Koreans against the South Koreans, but uh, you see, these are countries on the border of China, and uh, these are their neighbors, these are their friends, these are the people that uh, they've been accustomed to, not somebody from on the other side of the world that wants to come and, and tell people what to do. This is sort of a neat area of, of, uh, of the city, eh? You, you see it all, like it's, it, and it goes on and on and on. But the thing is that where does the hate come from? Where does the jealousy come from? Why are the Americans and the Canadians, the UK people, all living a lie saying that, that China is some type of a threat to them? Where does this come from? You tell me, because I don't know. And it never fails. Uh, when I start doing these videos, and it's cloudy outside, it starts to rain. So, uh, you're just gonna have to bear with me on this. So, they're looking over the fence. They're, they're, they're jealous of what's going on in China because China is growing and, and China is getting richer and it's not gonna be very long until China is the number one economy in, in the world. And everybody sort of knows that. Um, their, their AI is way ahead of anything else in the world. They're, They've just got everything going for them. They've got a government that works for the people, and uh, that's all they do. They don't do elections. They don't. They 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 spend a hundred percent of their time actually dealing with the problems of the country, and and that's a good thing, just for the fact that they don't spend a whole bunch of time running for re-election, uh, raising money for re-election. Uh, fighting with the other party. You know what I mean? Like, they, they don't waste all of that time and money. I get that. But, uh, you know, so, as they work 100% of the time on behalf of the people in the country to make it better, uh, they just have more time, they have more people, they have more resources going in that direction, which is, which is a good thing. Yeah, I do love this part of the city. This is, this is, a, this is a really good one. So back to the main topic of, of uh, this video. Why are they living this lie? Or do they even know they're living a lie? I believe they do because I'm a Canadian. I come from, uh, I come from that area of the world. And uh, I know that China is a hustling, bustling place. 
I know that China is is getting better, but their life is getting worse. But they still defend the government that they've got. They still defend the way that uh, their system works. They still defend something that's failing, and uh, they don't see a better tomorrow. They don't see where things are going to turn around. Uh, they see more debt. They see higher prices at the stores. They see higher prices for housing. They see more homeless people. They see more drug addicts on the street. They see more despair and people just giving up. But yet, they live the lie and, and think that their democracy is something that is special, that is the only way to go. I still don't get it. When the Americans won't let Huawei into the country because they're, they, they say that Huawei and the Chinese government will spy on them as they tap the phones of Angela Merkel in Germany. You know what I mean? They put a president in, Biden, who uh, isn't allowed to say things or take questions from the press because he really doesn't run the country. Everybody knows that. They say, well, he says, well, you know, I'm, I'm not supposed to answer questions. Biden actually shit himself in a conference with Bor Boris from the UK, uh, Boris Johnson. And uh, this is who they have running their country. But everybody knows that Biden isn't running the country. Somebody else is, is basically behind him calling the shots. It's, it's like they, they know that they're living a lie, but they seem like they don't really care that they're living a lie. That would not go over in mainland China. I guarantee you that. If, uh, if the leader was incompetent in any way, he wouldn't be the leader. That is China. But the Americans seem like that's okay. You go to Canada and you got Trudeau. Well, he's more worried about his socks and his hair than he is about the country. Uh, the Canadians are living a lie, but it's not as big of a lie as what the Americans are living. Now you look at their military industrial complex where they've got 800 bases around, uh, around the world. They're spending exorbitant amounts of money on their military. And uh, you know, their military is so huge, they don't, they don't really need that. But they tell the people that, that we're, we're just trying to keep you safe. Okay, well, yeah, trying to keep you safe is good. They know that the money would be better spent on high-speed trains, on education, on better health care, freer health care, all of these different things. The American people know that. The American people actually know that. But they don't say anything. They seem to be okay with it. It's just, as I say, they're living a lie. It's, it's weird. I actually don't know any other country in the world that would would put up with, or the people of any other country in the world that would put up with what the Americans put up with. You see ra rampant violence, guns, like nowhere safe in the United States anymore. Um, a shooting in Boise, Idaho. Like I've been in Boise, Idaho many times and uh, this is one of the most mundane places in the entire world. You wouldn't think that anybody would get hurt or, you know what I mean? Two killed, uh, four, four injured, one of them was a, a, a police officer. And they see this violence, they see the gangs, they see the, the, the shootings and, the, you know, but yet they put up with it. They see that in China they don't have that, they don't have the guns, they don't have the violence, but yet they, they look at China as being somehow bad. Again, they're just living a lie. What would happen? if the American population was given a, a taste of what it's like to live here in China. No violence. No homeless people. Well, there are homeless people, but very little. No tent cities. No drug addicts on the street. No robberies. No gun violence. I've never seen a gang member in 18 years plus. What would it be like if they got a taste of this? And what, how would the government of the United States explain this away? Maybe it's the government of the United States that's actually spreading this lie to make themselves look better, to make it look like uh, they are the best place in the world. 
I've been to the States. There's places in the United States that are amazing, that are nice places, that uh, you've got good people. When, uh, when you see the drug addicts on uh, Kensington Avenue in Philadelphia, it's not all like that over there. Uh, when, you, when you see the gangs and the shootings in Chicago, it's not like that everywhere. Uh, just because uh, a homeless person shits on the streets in uh, Philadelphia doesn't mean all Americans shit on the street in, uh, in the United States. But then you've got to turn that around and say, well, in China, it's the same way. But then you're going to say, but Guilau, the, the, the government is an authoritarian government. They've got their thumb on everybody. They're not fair. They don't. Well, you know, 90% of the people in this country back their government. So obviously they're doing something right. Uh, and again, I tell you that the American population points their finger at China and says they're doing something wrong. But I think it's not the American population. I think that they've been brainwashed to think that China's somehow a bad place, where it's really not. I've been living here for 18 years, guys. Um, it's, 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 as, it's as nice as Canada. It's different. But it's as nice as Canada. It's, it's, got, it's got its ups and downs. Uh, more pollution, definitely. More people, of course. Um, it's got better transportation. It's got, it's got better airports. Uh, it's less expensive. It's you know all of these different things. So you, there's give and take. But uh, when you when you look at the American way of of pointing the finger, looking over the fence, being jealous of China, living a lie, not understanding what they're talking about, um, that's where that's where I think the American people are being taken advantage of. They're they're not being told the truth. Uh, they are living a lie, and it's the American government and the American mainstream media that has an agenda that makes the, the American people live this lie. Some of them are smart enough to see through it, some of them aren't. Some of them don't give a rat's ass, and uh, some of them do. Anyway, that's that's my stick for the day, and that's another video from Guilao 60. On the streets, in Nanning, Guangxi Autonomous Region, China. And uh, yeah, I love my life here, I really do. Anyway. Oh, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell, don't forget to, to resubscribe, and whatever you do, don't forget to put a couple bucks in the children's Patreon account, it's for a good cause. Thanks for watching, peace out, bye now.